out of my way. What's that guy's problem? Which way did the monster go? The monster? Yes, the monster. He's an immortal. Usually that would make him a god or a hero, but this man's a beast. Break, back up, break up a second, back up a second. Did you say he's immortal? As in, no can die? Exactly, he's dangerous. We must find him immediately. D well, good thing you ran into us helpful citizens. He went that way. All right, thanks for cooperating. Hmm, another immortal? Okay, we have to get to this temple to get some magic. What's that? There's like a boulder. Temple of Poseidon! I mean, how many other... Well, maybe they go through like the main gods. Poseidon... Hades... Zeus... Apollo, Artemis. I'm getting them confused with their Roman names because some of them sound better. Demeter. <laughs> it's like how how many how many Greek gods and goddesses get a Hera? Oh, I guess like Hephaestus. Like, how does- Vulcan sounds way cooler than Hephaestus. Okay, Poseidon. Touch the altar to receive skills in the form of fire from the temple's Olympian god. Once your spirit is imbued with the fire of these skills, you'll eventually be able to use them after getting experience in battle and leveling up. Nymphs can show you how to get the most out of skills whose fire you've already received. You'll see a nymph in every temple. Why not see what she has to say? So are there like multiple? Like, oh, can you go to like, are there multiple temples of Poseidons? Sorry, I don't have any new skill boosting techniques. Okay. Well, they, the freaking thing told me to talk to you at least once. A great power began to burn within uh, spirit. And he learned the following shield bash. Oh, Lucas learned the following bash and multi-shot. Don't get too excited with the, when the embers of a skill first come to dwell within you. You can't use the skill just yet. You must earn experience in combat and raise your level before you can make use of that skill. I mean, that's fine. At least we get- I mean, I would like to have a magic. <laughs> you know, any magic. Oh no, it's... Gnosis? Like, is the sea supposed to be... Like, is the sea silent? Gnosis? Oh, sorry, I missed the rest of the day. It's Crete's biggest something-something. Okay, there's a weapon shop. Do they have, like, a polisher guy? Well, there's, like, a magic thing, too. A shop that sells sharp, pointy things you can stick into enemies. Oh, it's a weapon shop. Strong weapons give you the cutting edge in combat. Literally, spend all the money you can spare to stay outfitted with the best. Okay, we need to keep at least- Okay, okay, it was on top. I couldn't see. I thought it was on the bottom. God, I can't read. Hmm, we can get a bow. Okay, we need at least 2,000 to give to this lady, so... Okay, we can get... Hmm... Maybe with a spear, like, you can hit both, like, in the row. You know how there's, like, a back... You know, there's, like, the back and the front. Maybe with a spear, you can hit both, because why... <laughs> he doesn't have any, um, like, any ranged-ish weapons, so I'm going to assume maybe this was his technical ranged weapon. Hmm, defense goes down, but like, I mean, I'm sure- I do get party members, though. Well, how many party members? Is there like a hidden secret party member? Because I only rem I remember five party members. I guess including this guy, there's the you, Lucas, the blonde guy, the little girl, 
and the big dude. Unless it's like a secret. Maybe that's like for guest characters. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, like, I don't remember any secret characters. Okay, we'll get this. And then we'll get this. Okay, what about... Wait, what about the armor? A shop that sells a tie to protect your tender parts. Whether you're immortal or not, cuts and slashes still hurt like Hades. So always gear up with the best armor you can afford. Okay, so we can get these two. Wow, it's literally a shopping spree for them. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Even the game is like her, but kind of rolls back on it. So I don't know if I should call her a her. Like her. Or just go with them. Because like, look, at this point, we all know that she is a she. Oh, what was this? I didn't mean to talk to him, but sure. No. Okay, I was I was like all the way over here. I didn't mean to talk to him. Okay, so we got some armor. Uh Okay, magic shop. I forgot what this does, so might as well pop in. Oh, maybe it's like a I don't know. Sorceress, the shop that deals primarily in magic darts. Magic darts are projectiles that have been pre-charged with spells. Anyone can use them, even those who haven't learned an actual the actual spell. Poison arrows. Arrows that can debilitate targets. Have your archers try out all special uh, maybe they're like okay, hold on. Do you have to like keep buying them? Maybe we'll keep this one? Could be good for right now for like debuffing or when I get that guy because I know he can use them too. You can't equip it or is this like? Oh no, it's just an arrow. It's because of the icon. I got confused. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I thought it was like I thought that's what the weapon was called. So let's buy a few, I guess, so she can use them. I think it gave me ten, right? Okay, okay, now I understand. Now it's just me not understanding icons. I guess we can rest and then continue. I'd like to get this guy. Or at least go to like, get to a dungeon. Oh, well, we can't sleep just because. Oh, the priestesses. The priestesses filled in all the rooms? Oh, if you're looking for the head priestess. She's in that building. Who let the who let you rabble in here? I take it you want on our boat. No passes, no passage. This is no spring break cruise to Sparta. Isn't there something you can do? Out of the question. But isn't there something there is not? Here you go. Three passes. Hmm? Let me see those. They seem legitimate. And who will you be traveling with, sir? These two, right here. What? You have some reason for wanting to help them? Yes. Yes, you could say that. Well, you promised me they won't cause any trouble? Of course. Alright, we sail first thing in the morning. Thanks for helping me out earlier. You lied to that guard to get him off my trail, right? Oh, you saw us do that? Well, seeing as how you gave us those passes, I figured we're square. Quite right. I don't like being in debt, especially to mortals. So why did you throw that soldier off my tail anyway? He told us you were immortal. Oh, I see. That would make me a god or some legendary hero, yes? You mortals are such a suspicious lot. You were hoping to earn the gratitude of an immortal. You figured I'd feel obligated to grant you some re great reward. No, not at all. No, it's fine. It's a lot better than being called a monster, I suppose. Seriously, you've got me all wrong.
Do you have any open rooms? There are two of us. Sorry, not tonight. We're booked full. What with the priestesses in town. Aw, oh, man. Oh, Axios. I'd like to stay for another night. Do you have any rooms? She says they're all full. For you, Axios, I'll figure, I'll figure something out. Wait, what? Ladies can't resist me. The gods may have cursed me with immortality, but at least it came with good looks with looks to die for. They didn't bother cursing you with humility, huh? And yet it seems that men hate me all the more than my all, all the more for my looks. No, I think it's your personality that's causing that. Please, jealousy does not become you. I managed to free up a room for you, Axios. It's upstairs. Thank you. I won't ever forget your kindness. While you're at it, don't forget I'm single and the life of any and, and the life of any toga party. All right, you two can come with me. My name is Axios. Pleased to meet you. Looks like we owe you yet again, pretty boy. Thanks for letting us bunk here. My name, my name is Lucas, and this, this, I'll just say it, this is Heracles. Heracles? He may not look it, but, Heracles, you have to tell me, why am I immortal? You must know, you're the son of a god after all. Doubt he can help you, he's had amnesia ever since his head collided with some granite. You can't be serious. Serious as a starting contest with Medu as a staring contest with Medusa, I'm afraid. We're off to Mount Olympus. We're hoping to get Heracles' brain unscrambled and maybe find out the reason why I'm immortal while we're at it. Wait, you're immortal too? And you don't know the reason either? Yeah. I'm in the same boat. The three of us should form a club. So that's why you covered for me when you heard I was immortal. I'm sorry that I misjudged you. No, it's fine. Right? Yeah. I figured a great hero like you would be so forgiving. Well, it's time we got our be beauty rest. Tomorrow morning we'll set out for Mount Olympus. Oh, wait, you're coming too? Yes, yes. We're a club of unkillable men with mysterious pasts. How can we not travel together? I'm on a quest of self-discovery, just like you. Now that that's decided, sleep well. When can we name ourselves, though? <laughs> I remember you can name this guy. Where are you going? Is he like in the party? Oh, he is in the party. Level 8! Level 8! Oh, he doesn't have a hat too. Maybe I should try to find him. Oh, he doesn't have a cloak either. See, it says there's synthesis in this game. I don't know if it's one of those things, like in Dragon Quest, where when you get the alchemy pot, it's like, oh, certain- Oh, what did I just- Oh, is that just standing still? Oh. Oh, it'll tell you, like, what they do if you stand still. Neat. But it's like in- in, uh... What was I saying? <laughs> Talking about Dragon Quest for something. I can't remember. Oh, no. Oh well, yeah, we still haven't gone to the sorceress to learn spells yet. Let's stop by the shop and check it out. We've got a long, long journey ahead. If we're smart, we bone up on as much on as much magic know-how as possible. Then come on, let's go to the sorceress. We were we were there already. Oh wait, where is this? He had like a statue in his basement. Touch the altar to receive magic in the form of fire from Prometheus. Once your spirit is imbued with the fire of these spells, you'll eventually be able to learn them. Okay. So I guess all the sorcerers, sorcerer, sorcerers, burn, fog, and pow. And they learned fog de degird, <laughs> this then. And he learned fogger quite the power. Don't get too so, okay. We already got this tutorial. I did not know he had like a whole statue in his basement. Like sir. Oh, it was on the side, like, no wonder.
They're all looking at us. Uh, yes, yes, that always happens to me. It gets me into trouble sometimes. Not with the girls, mind you, but with their special someones. And those special someones, well, they tend to have a jealous streak. Ever think of dodging these girls who throw themselves at you? If I had done that, I never would have discovered my immortality. Jealousy cuts like a knife, sometimes literally. What about you, Lucas? How did you find out you're immortal? I got thrown off a cliff by my father? Wow, where he learned his parenting skills. Sparta? No, no, it's not like that. My father did it to show me that I'm immortal. By tossing you off a cliff? He never heard- uh, he, he never hear of a good old father-son chat? Listen, it's not that simple. So, are your parents immortal too? Sadly, they weren't. Same for me. They say that immortals are the children of gods, but it seems that doesn't apply to us. Wait, Heracles, you're immortal because you're the son of a god, right? Actually, you're more than that. You're the son of Zeus, the king of the gods. You must have hit your head pretty hard to forget something like that, Heracles. Hey, I don't want to offend you, but see, it's not that I doubt that you're actually Heracles. I know where you're going with this. You walk around with a name like Heracles and people are going to want proof of that you're immortal. I mean, just because you can't be killed doesn't mean you can't get hurt. Proving your Heracles could get old. Exactly. Oh, is this where I can name myself? Life would be a lot easier if you went by an alias. Quite right. I have to agree. Hmm, how about Pit? Pit? That doesn't even sound Greek. I think he should decide for himself. I'm going with the most Greek name. <laughs> I guess it'll grow on me. Works for me! What was that? Sounds like- uh, sounds like all Hades is breaking loose up on the deck. Yes, yes, quite right. I wonder what happened. The sea, she turned from fair to foul. There be monsters off the port beam. Prepare to engage the enemy. Oh no. Oh, Patroclus. Uterus? <laughs> Uterus? <laughs> you. Uh, unfortunately, that is, I think. Well, maybe not how it. <laughs> like, uterus. Uh, you. Is that not how you would say that? You, Doris. Maybe if, we, maybe if I make it sound like more of a D than a T, like Eutorus, Eudorus, <laughs> Patroclus, save our ship. Hey, you three, quit gawking and lend a hand. Okay, I mean, I'm pretty sure we did all the Sega. Ha! Okay, wait, oh, oh, oh. Oh, I was like, how did, they, how did they get to level 10? Like, we didn't do anything. Like, are we underleveled? That might be a sign we might be underleveled if everyone's like fucking five levels above. What do they have? Look, they even get like unique poses and everything. Like, look, they're way better than us. Okay, wait, he has to have some things. And we'll give him a pick me up. Okay, we're good. And we still can't use magic. Okay, POW is like the D of this game, like the healing spell. I don't know, it sounds funny though. POW! But he didn't even need us. Hey, okay, we learned all that shit, yay! Like, oh, finally, we learned some magic. Now you guys fought pretty well. No, that was all you. Trust me. 
even the pretty boy. I'll bet he spends more, even more time on his hair than even, uh, uh, more time on his hair than even you. A hey, Eudorus. I do not joke about my hair. Oh, it's a oh, wait, wait. Who, which one's a woman? Patroclus was the woman. Sorry, I can't tell. <laughs> You're ridiculous. Maybe it's because I'm getting it because Patroclus. I'm thinking of Patroclus from Soul Calibur. I think that's what. I thought it was like a masculine. Okay, you know what? Unisex names for the wind, sure. I didn't know. I didn't know it could be used for both. Oh, here comes the next batch. Okay, see, now that I look at her, yeah, I see like a. Like a breastplate. <laughs> I see boobs in those in that breastplate. Oh, even when I do it on my fucking touchpad, it's not fast enough. You know, at least there's no timer. Oh, <laughs> never mind. I guess there was like a hidden timer. It's way. Maybe I have to like fix the button that I do it for. That, that I do it. That I click with. It seems like we're the star attraction with these monsters, eh, Lucas? Can't say I'm a fan of them. Also, their beastly love is unrequited. How sad. Maybe they're maybe they really are attracted to your shiny hair. Maybe you're right. I never thought that even monsters would find me irresistible. My friends, I must apologize. As much as I'm enjoying this awkward conversation, here come more monsters. Okay, it's easier if I use my middle finger and then just kind of go ham on it. <laughs> Bring it on, monsters. No reason to egg them on. Oh, there's more. Oh god, there's more. So, you really think my hair is luring the monsters? It is quite full of bounce. I wash it once a year, you know. Can we talk about your split ends later? Another wave approaches. Oh my god, there's more. Jesus. There's no end to these guys. Indeed. Here they come. Can this be like the last one? <laughs> Cause damn. <laughs> Is ocean travel always this exciting? No, the sea hasn't been itself lately. It used to be smooth sailing. Are you call that smooth sailing? Okay, who ordered the calamari? Oh god, <laughs> and I was like, a boss, a boss. Y'all don't have any like, uh... we don't have any MP, so, okay, sure. We, okay, we might want someone who can heal to keep their MP because uh, we're not doing so hot. Okay, so I guess they need to get the overkill. Oh, or we can just put her in the back, right?
Should I put him in the back, too? No, I guess we'll just normal attack. I'm like, I'm like, should I try to use it on this boss? I mean, he has the MP to do it. Okay, just do it. Just do it. Oh, wait, did it work? Maybe not. Maybe not necessarily, like, oh no, it didn't. <laughs> I think we're just gonna have to spam the normal attack now. Come on, you can do it. Yeah. Oh my god, look at all this shit. A rusty sword, Hermes' wings. Oh yay, we defeated the Kraken. Thanks for your help. I thought we would I thought we was sunk for sure. We couldn't have done it by ourselves, Captain. You guys did alright. Sorry, we got to introduce ourselves and all the excitement. I'm Patroclus. And I'm her partner, Eudorus. I'm Lucas. My name is Axios. And this here is Talia. I'm the ship's master. Gazuth Gazuth's the name. From today onwards, I'll consider ye all mates. You can have free passage on the ship whenever ye, ye wants. Great. I think I'm a little sick of sea travel right now. <laughs> Hardy har. Ain't you a kidder. Okay, but why why are they pushing me? I'm afraid I have some dire news, mateys. It seems me ship has taken a real pounding on account of those monsters. She won't be seaworthy for a while. In the meantime, I ask that you be staying that you be staying in town until she's ship shape again. This is me hometown, lovely Laconia. You'll be looking uh, you'll be looking hard for something to do, but still make yourselves at home. Not so fast, mateys. You'll be guests at me house while you're here. Damn, we must have a big house. Oh, 
Flora, your papa's back. Hey, you're not going to the captain's house? We've got some business to attend to. We'll see you later. Hey, wait, we have a polisher. Ah! I know, we were just in front of it. I had, you know, other plans. It's next to it, right? Or is it there? Or is it back there? Nope, it's this one. Wait, where are the other two? They said they had some business to take care of or something. Did they now? Well, anyway, make yourselves at home. I'm off to tend to me ship. Later, mateys. My husband told me about how you saved his life back on the ship. Please make yourselves at home. Hello, Mr. Grown-Up. Mr. Grown-Up? Hello, Mr. Hello, Miss. What? Mm, maybe you're not a Miss? Want me to call you Mrs. Mister? Close enough, kid. The kid makes a good point. Why are you... Why am I what? Go ahead. Say it. Why are you pretending to be a man? I can't say. It's a secret. Aha! Uh -huh. So you admit you're a girl. A secret? I have a secret too. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, I mean, I guess now we can just say that Lucas is a she. It's like confirmed. Because like, it's like one of those things that like, oh, everyone knows. Look, look. This is my secret. It's a special flower and it only grows in a secret place. I'm trusting you grown-ups with this, so don't tell mommy or daddy. What a beautiful flower. It won't stay a secret for long in a place like this, kid. Someone will find it. Really? No. If mommy finds it, oh no. I've got to hide it somewhere. Don't tell nobody. Okay, now can we go to this damn polisher? Polisher, a shop that scours rust from otherwise useless items. Who knows what treasures will be revealed with a bit of polish. Okay, we have two things, right? A rusty, so a rusty spear. Ah, uh, that's it! Uh, does that mean it failed, or what? A shop where you can modify items or create new ones. There's alchemists in this game, too? Oh, it's like, okay, I was like, what is this? <laughs> I thought it was like improving them, like, you know, plus one, plus two, or something. No, it's literally for, like, turning them into something else. Isn't there something we can do? We're really in a big hurry if we don't get back soon. If memory serves me true, the owner of the item shop has a wee boat. It might fit it might fit you two just so. We'll fit if the goddesses of war if the goddess of war here heaves some of her luggage overboard. Oh please, at least my bags are full of weapons and not cheesy souvenirs for Lily the dancer. I'll put in a good word, but the owner will still be wanting some money. How much do we have left in funds? Oh, about 2,000? 2,000? How are we supposed to buy a boat with that? And where did the rest of our money go? Did you you wasted on those blasted souvenirs? On those blasted souvenirs? Oh, well, uh, maybe? But she's a worthy cause, you know? She's just so beautiful and graceful. Just like everyone says, a girl like that deserves financial aid. And I deserve a partner who's not a lovesick idiot. 
I'll see if they'll be taking 2,000. Thanks. Can't make you any promises. They don't have an armor shop? A tavern, a place to buy beverages that can be imbibed during combat to restore HP, MP. For example, using ordinary nectar in battle grants you the boon ability. Recommended item, milk. Not only does it restore your health, it increases your maximum HP for the duration of the battle. Toss a bottle back next time you're in a bind. Note, may leave an unsightly milk mustache. Hi there. I actually don't know if there's like side quests you can do. You know how they like in RPGs, it's like, oh, you have to do some backtracking once in a while. And be like, oh, yeah, you know, something, like, happened, and real quick, I need you to, I don't know, <laughs> go to this dungeon and get me this item or something. It'll be a while until dinner's ready. In the meantime, mind doing me a favor? Could you take this book to the girl in the item shop for me? Dinner should be ready by the time you get back. The item shop is right next door. Didn't you just say that dinner won't be ready for a while? And she's right next door? Oh, I've been waiting to read this book forever. Thanks for dropping it off. Since you're here, could I get you to take this book back to her for me? Thanks. Yes, now we've got a bow. No thanks to you. Let's hurry. Or let's hurry. Our homeland is waiting for us. We'd give you guys a ride, but the only place for you is over the side. I wish there was something we could give as, give you as a farewell gift. Oh wait, this might come in handy someday. Take it. Oh. 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 Wow, very generous. It was an honor fighting alongside you. Stay tough. Oh, stay tough and travel safe. Oh, welcome back. You gave her the book, then. Thank you. Those errands worked up an appetite, I'll wager. Fill your bellies and get some shut-eye upstairs. How about are you tired? Yeah. Alright, sweet dreams. Don't tell anyone the secret. There's a big commotion outside. 